Hello and welcome. On September 26, 2017, we have released version 9 of our software family. And now we'll present you with some of the highlights. As we have founded the company Loxone in 2009, we had a clear aim and a clear vision, namely, the home knows what to do by itself. In a time where our technology plays a part in all aspects of our life, people flying to the moon, lawnmower robots are cutting the lawn, we just wanted a home that takes care of all sorts of things in terms of security, comfort, and energy efficiency. The aim is to give the people in their own home more time by saving them 50,000 tasks throughout a year and by creating an incredible feeling for comfort and atmosphere. For all products and software releases, which we develop and plan, there's always one idea in the foreground. Save 50,000 tasks, enjoy more time for life. That's what Loxone is all about. With version 9, we've made again another great step forward in reaching this goal. In Loxon Config 9, we have once again made progressive steps towards dramatically decreasing the effort it takes to install and configure Loxon into your projects. Here we have a new way to edit the periphery and identify the corresponding devices in a room. We have also invested a lot of time into the automatic configuration tool. The configuration of each home is unique. However, this uniqueness creates opportunities for making many little mistakes while doing the configuration. Avoiding these small errors was a main concern for us in version 9. What we have done is allowed the automatic configuration of a new project to approach as closely as possible to 100% of a complete configuration, and almost every feature can be configured automatically. This is extremely well tested so that the result is a functioning installation for the customer. In addition, we have completely reworked the app, renewed it, created a new design, put features in the focus, concentrated on the overview of the home and its usability, so what the customer can see and how the customer controls it have been completely redesigned and improved in our app. All the features which we have offered for years on the mini server and which are improving constantly, those which are a part of the whole picture of any installation, such as climate, shading, multimedia, music, and every function you can imagine can be controlled by one system. These are all features we've packed into our app and which work in a logical and comprehensible way. This is Loxon Config 9. We have worked hard on our auto configuration. Auto configuration, on one hand, serves to minimize the workload to create impressive smart home features, and on the other hand, and perhaps most importantly, helps prevent many of the errors which might have been present before. Everything which is configured via auto configuration was intensively tested and works as it should via auto configuration. To make sure the auto configuration is working properly, it's important to use the right periphery. A temperature sensor which is connected via an analog input can be hard to identify as a temperature sensor. Therefore, it's important to use the Loxon components in a complete solution. The devices from Loxon have a defined range of functions. Our touch, for example, has five touch points according to our recommendation, but also includes a temperature and humidity sensor. And our motion sensors offer a brightness sensor in addition to the functionality of a motion sensor. But let's take a look at it in practice. I've prepared for us now an auto configuration with a file. For this file, I have already prepared the periphery. Here, we have an Airbase extension with a number of products such as a water sensor, smoke detector, window contact, air dimmers, IR control for the TV, and so on. Here, we have a touch with a number of different functions such as a temperature sensor, humidity sensor, and a number of buttons as well. All of this information will be processed as a result. Also as part of this project, we have a couple of tree extensions. Under the tree extensions, you can see products like dampers, RGBW strips, and as well as some other touches. In the practice, it would look like this. The electric distributor has been wired, air and tree products are installed, and everything has been added. There is no configuration so far, and the configuration is empty, so just the periphery is in operation. 
An operation means you've looked for tree devices, you've found those, marked those, gave them names, and assigned a room. Rooms are very important. We've renewed the editing of the rooms as you can see here. This is an overview of the rooms. You can easily edit the rooms. For example, we have the living room here. The room type is recreational room. So we have a total of four room types, bedroom, recreational room, thoroughfare, and central. We use this information to give the rooms the right configuration. What's also new is that you can now define beautiful lighting moods for each single room via auto configuration, which fit perfectly to each room and the use of the particular room. We'll close this window because what we're going to do now is take a look at the auto configuration. We will now perform the auto configuration. Here, we have a list which shows the periphery, including the rooms which were found. As you can see, it will bring up a list of features which will be included in each room. If we look at Thomas' bedroom, we can see that it includes lighting, heating and cooling, alarm clock, and leaving room features. When we hit Next, Auto Configuration will bring up a list of features which we had previously discussed in training but had to be configured manually, such as good night functions, as well as others. These features will now be included automatically with Auto Configuration. If you hover over the question marks, it will give a brief description of the features. Now we can hit Auto Configure. The configuration is now running. What it's doing is assigning everything to its place and also checking for errors. As it finishes, I'll be notified immediately that there's mistakes somewhere in the periphery. What it will do is create a list of to-dos for us to correct these errors. As you may have guessed, I've made these mistakes with the intention of showing you the precision we worked hard for. I can assign rooms to some of these that are missing rooms, but for now I'll just ignore it. Now that our configuration is complete, let's take a look at the room of Thomas. So this is our configuration page, and what you can see here now is a little note with recommendations, tips, and tricks for further realization. And now let's take a closer look at the lighting controller. In the lighting controller, there's the light circuits section, so there's a dimmer, some color, as well as some backlight in the room. If we look at the moods, we have relaxing, atmospheric, relaxing bright, bright, wake up, night, and off settings. There has also been the realization of the night mode function. In the automatic section, night mode was already included. What this will do is during the night, if someone needs to get up, we'll turn on very dim lights. Now let's switch to the living room. If we take a look at the lighting controller, we can see our touch, our motion sensor, our bell, and our brightness sensor all connected to the lighting controller block automatically, as well as the different sources that we have in the room. When we take a look at the lighting controller itself, just like in the bedroom, we have a number of different lighting moods, as well as automatic features already programmed in. Let's take a look at the intelligent room controller. Just like the lighting control, we can see that our intelligent room controller has already been configured for us. When we select it, we can see the weekly heating and cooling schedule, which has also been configured, but can be easily changed. Now, let's switch to the whole home section. As you can see, there is an alarm that was already configured for us. We can also see that we have night mode programmed in automatically, and we have our lighting and our music overview. We can see that the main portion of our configuration is done, and now, the only things that are missing are the personalized settings and special features that may pop up from time to time. As you can see here, the auto configuration is an excellent tool that provides the functions most homeowners need. Technically, it is possible to configure everything from scratch, but we've thoroughly tested auto configuration and highly recommend taking advantage of this great feature. We have developed a lot of time and effort into the topic of lighting within version 9 of Loxon Config. We have developed a lot in the last years. We have dramatically improved our selection of lighting products. We have our own spots, which are top of the line, regarding mechanics, cooling, lifetime, and also regarding the ease of installation. When developing, we have always had the partner in mind. Quality is the most important factor for our lighting. Even if an LED lasts up to 50,000 operating hours, it depends on how the spot is built the cooling is sufficient. It's pointless if the spot breaks after 2,000 hours. Meanwhile, we have a lot of lighting products which you can buy at our shop. These products are perfect to install and perfect to use in Luxon Config. Let's take a closer look at it.
We can see here that we offer LED spots in warm white and with colors. We have ceiling spots. We have our own dimmer products. So the range of lighting is great and will get greater in the future. In our show home, we use a number of different lighting products. We've used an RGBW dimmer air for lighting in the master bedroom. We also have a number of tree lighting products as well. If we take a look at the tree extension, we can see that we have some tree dimmers as well as some tree spots. One of the new features is if we go to the periphery, we can see that our actuator type for this device is listed as smart. Smart actuator means that you can give information via the lighting control to the lighting channel. For example, how long the fading from one color to another should take. Therefore, we need smart actuators. The settings for smart actuators need to be applied in each Luxon product. To see what this looks like in practice, let's take a look at the living room. So here we have our living room, and we can click on the lighting controller. You can see we have a list of the lighting circuits in the house, including those with smart actuators. If we take a look at the moods, you can see that we have some moods already set up, and because we have the smart actuators, we're able to adjust both the color and the warm white settings. We're also able to access the color picker, which gives us the color sequence option. And we can change a color sequence or set one up via the Loxon app, but it's also possible to do so in config. All we need to do is select colors and add them to our sequence. And here you can see we have a preview of what that sequence will look like. We can also adjust the interval down at the bottom. So we can set ours to five minutes, and that will determine how much time goes between each color. This is a great feature that you can add for your customers. The Smart Actuator has another great feature. The advantage here is in the lighting controller, you have settings for both color and warm white settings. For example, I have LED strips in the living room, and we now have the possibility to adjust the color and warm white settings in one device. Previously, we had one warm white channel and one color channel. In the lighting moods, you can see that we have different inputs. So what are these different inputs? Let me show you. These allow you to mix lighting scenes together to create new scenes. We have here in the living room the T5, which is the touch in the living room, and the touch is connected with the lighting mood relaxing. We have introduced a feature which makes it possible to add different lighting scenes together. If we select the checkbox mix, this allows us to mix lighting scenes that may be controlled with other touches in the room. These scenes we have here have been auto-configured. The auto-configuration has created lighting moods that go well with each room, but I would recommend you take a look at them to make sure that they are perfect for the room and the customer. In the automatic setting, you have new features which give the ability, depending on the operating modes, to control lighting via the motion sensor. For example, when the house is in night mode, the motion sensor will automatically change the scene assigned to the motion sensor so that the motion at night won't turn on bright lights. Another example would be the lighting in the garden. When one lighting scene, such as ambient lighting, is already on, and I would like to add our wall washing lights, we can easily do that by changing the setting scenes to mix with the current mood. You can also set it to simply change to the new scene instead of mixing. These are the new options in the action setting. If we look back at what we had before version 9, you'll notice that this was already a possibility, but it was extremely time consuming and you had to use the periphery, function block, and input. We have built this effect into the function block to cut down on the configuration work as much as possible. With version 9, we implemented a series of new function blocks called central blocks. We have central blocks for lighting, shading, alarm, music, so everything can be consolidated and controlled together. These function blocks work on one hand as a summary, giving a better overview, and on the other hand to allow for an easier configuration without mistakes. Let's take a look at it together. I have added here the overview blocks. We have here the gate overview block. You should use this one if you have more than one gate. Also, the visualization offers a great support for this block. The alarm block sums up the alarm systems for the first floor, second floor, and the outdoor, so it sums up all these different areas. The lighting overview block is used for collective control of lighting. The music overview block is there for combined control of music features, for example, the connection to the bell of the intercom. And the shading overview block is here 
to summarize all the shades and to offer total control. In the automatic configuration, all these blocks are also added in each room. For example, if we have a room with more than one automatic shade, then in this room there's an overview block for shading to have a better overview and to summarize it in the app. What we have recognized in customers' projects is that in some parts there are incorrect configurations in Loxon Config. Therefore, we've developed the project validation feature. You can now check projects to identify mistakes and avoid them in the run-up, which could show up at some point a few months down the road. An example is when too many statistics are written on the mini server. This causes the SD card to become full and overloaded. We allow this, and this configuration is not blocked in a technical way, because you might really want to record that many statistics. But now we warn about it. Let's take a closer look at it. This time, I'm connecting to the mini server in our showroom. Now that we're connected to the mini server in our show home, we can bring up the project validation tool. This will check our project for errors. As you can see, we have two unused categories. I'd recommend that you delete them when you see them. We also have some open to-dos in the master bedroom and we have a missing user interface password for one of our users. In this case, we could either delete the user if it's no longer necessary to have them, or assign them a user interface password. We also have some unused peripherals. In this case, we could delete them if we don't need them any longer. There are also some missing object settings, as well as some other things that need to be corrected. As you can see, the project validation tool does a great job of going through our project and letting us know when there might be errors. We have redesigned and redeveloped the Loxon Smart Home app from scratch and proudly present you with version 9. The app has a brand new appearance. We've already seen a lot of the new features like the central blocks. And for the new app, we have focused on the overview. So important functions are in the foreground and less important ones, or ones which we use sparingly, are in the background. Let's take a closer look at it now. I have the app on my Mac. We have the app for Windows, Mac, and of course, for all common smartphones and tablets. The app has a tab for functions, and functions are favorites, ranked by a rating you can assign. What is important is that the favorites are specific to the user, and each user might have different priorities. For example, for me, temperature, lighting, music, and security features are most important. In the Home tab, we have summarized what is most important in the home, and for me, it should give an overview using the overview blocks I showed you earlier. For example, we have the burglar alarm, the fire and water alarm, window protection, lighting control, music control, door access, and the HVAC filter monitor. If we look at the door overview, it looks like one of the garage doors is open. You can select a door and close it from here, or have all the doors open or closed together. I'll leave this one alone for now as one of my colleagues might have opened the door. In the room page, we can again see our favorites at the top, which have been organized by our rating. In my case, I have the living room, kitchen, master bath, master bed, sitting room, another bedroom, the office basement, and outside. All the other rooms are listed below in alphabetical order. This list includes rooms that are not as important to me or which are used less frequently. Then, we have the Categories tab. In the Categories tab, we have my favorites, like Gate, Alarm, Audio, Lighting, Maintenance, and Temperature. We have now made it very easy to make changes in the app, such as changing the name of a block. We can go to the Interface Settings and go to the Description, where we can easily make the change. What's great about the new app is there are many other settings that you can adjust from here, such as the star rating and whether it's a favorite category. One last part I would like to show you is if we switch back into a room, we have the rating for the most important features in the room. For this room, it would be the temperature, the lighting, and the audio. In lighting, you can easily mix different lighting moods. And if we click on more, we can easily adjust colors and set up a color sequence. Ideally, you would be making adjustments like these when it's dark outside so that the effect of the lighting is more obvious. As you can see, we have expanded the features which can be adjusted by users in the app, which is like a reduced expert mode.
This reduced expert mode can be added by adjusting the authorization level in Luxon Config and should be given to each homeowner so they can optimize more features than before, as well as correct misspellings and make minor adjustments. I often get asked why one should update. It's easy to answer this question. With each version, we've changed a lot in the background, which means that security has improved, errors that might have gone unnoticed in the background, or that happen really, really rarely are resolved. There's a lot going on. Thousands and thousands of hours of developing are behind each update of Loxon. This update is free, which is an important factor. So just the workload for the upload needs to be credited. Loxon Config has an update, and the app has an update. The apps are updated by the customer himself, and Loxon Config needs to match to get the best user performance. The lighting control is a reason to update, the new overview blocks, and there are many, many more reasons to update. Please, in order to benefit both you and your customers, update all customer projects. Loxon Config 9 is the best software version we've ever had. As you can see, our team has really invested a lot of time and energy into the new version in order to offer a lot of new improvements. Download now from Loxone.com and install all the other features we were unable to cover today. We wish you the best when creating new Loxon smart home projects and when updating existing ones to generate the best smart home solution in the world.